before we get started with this video, I now sell merchandise. So if you're interested in buying a t-shirt or a mug, I have a link to my store in the description. I really appreciate anybody that purchases any one of my products. What's up guys, it's your boy Jermaine, back with another update video of the 2024 breeding season. Got a bag of mice, got them dusted with calcium, with vitamin D, as well as multivitamins. Got my little cup of sardine juice, just in case I need it. And I'm gonna update you on if I got any eggs so far from the Lemon Ghost Woma, how these eggs are doing. But first, I want to feed these babies. All right, first up is the Arctic Toffee. And I'm gonna upgrade his enclosure size this week because he is getting big. And out of all of my 2023 hog noses, he has probably the best appetite out of all of them. Produced by Susan and Dustin at SMK, Show Me Kitties. Can't wait to get this guy working. Next up is the Court Gabbard Lemon Ghost Walma, but I can look at his eyes that he is actually in shed, so I doubt if he'll eat. He's already pretty tough pretty tough eater when he's not in shed. So as you can see, he's bluff striking and everything. Just gonna leave him alone and move on to the next one. Next up is my Super Arctic Anaconda, 50% head Mai Tai. You can see she just shed out. Oh, that attitude. I know she'll eat though. There you go. All that attitude was not necessary. We have my Jag pattern female. She didn't bit down on the tongs. Get her in focus. Never have any issues with this girl eating. I have my super arctic super conda head coral. Look at that strike. And I have him on that aspen. See, it kind of clumps up and moves to the side. I don't know. I don't really like it. <laughs> but it is what it is. All right, we have my little pain in the butt. Curry Jr. Look at him. Hey bro, just eat. There you go. Now was that so hard? Now we have my Exanthic, 100% head sable albino. Good job, buddy. And looking at this, I actually need to put some tape over this hide so he doesn't get stuck if he decides to go through there, so. That's what I'll be doing once I finish feeding him. Right now we have my Lemon Ghost Granite Jungle Outcross. Not only is she in a larger enclosure, but she's on aspen shaving. So I'm not sure how she will react to this because this is a new environment. It's the first time feeding her since the switch. There you go. Guess it didn't really matter. Look how dark those saddles are. Next up, we have my lavender, who's also in a larger enclosure and she's already flattening out, already peed off like she always is. Yeah, look at her. Whoa, 
That was a nice grab. I was not expecting that. We have Aang. There you go, buddy. You see, he's also been upgraded. A lot more space to grow up in. All right, now that I'm done feeding the babies, let's check on her, which I actually can hear her digging right now. This is the Lemon Ghost Walma. You can see this is a good sign when they push all the substrate to one side. That lets you know she's getting ready to lay. So the eggs, we should have an egg laying video either tonight or tomorrow. So I'll just leave her alone. I'm not going to mess with her anymore. Let's see who else. All right, we have, this is the 100% Het. Um... Leucistic, that was paired to the Super Arctic 66% head leucistic. She's currently in shed. She should be shedding out either today or tomorrow. So after that, um, she'll probably lay within like eight or nine days after that. So probably what, next week, sometime next week, we'll have her second clutch of eggs. <clears throat> This female right here, this is the Exanthic. She's still in shed, her eyes are still blue, so she's still got a few more days left to shed out. Granite Jungle, I'll be feeding her. Um, I'll be feeding her tomorrow. So her appetite has been crazy. She's like literally been pacing this tub back and forth. She's really hungry, so really hoping on um, a second clutch from her. Then we have this one right here. Like I said, she always has substrate on her back. She's definitely not gravid, so I'm actually going to bump down her feedings because she's getting too big. So I'll probably start feeding her once every two weeks and just try to get her ready for next year. Brew made her and everything. So don't be expecting any sunburst babies <laughs> this year, unfortunately, but it's all good. And... Let's go to these eggs. So let me get my flashlight. All right, so looking at these eggs, so this right here is the um, the, the possible leucistic eggs. It's none of them in there. They're all good. But then this right here. So I actually went through these eggs yesterday. This is from the Granite Jungle Lemon Ghost Walma. You can see there's two eggs back there and they're kind of deflated, I don't think they're gonna make it. This right here is the only egg that looks viable. When I shined the light on it, it had that nice orange color, but the rest of them were bad. They were molded really hard and everything. So out of this first clutch right here, I think only this first one is gonna survive, unfortunately. Like I said, these last two back here, they do have weak veins, they're dimpling in. I don't think they're going to make it the whole time because they still have like almost two months. I think it's like day nine or day 10. So they still have like four, almost what, 50, over 50 days left. So hopefully she lays me a good second clutch because I know a lot of people have been wanting one of those babies. But we'll definitely be getting these possible head leucistic animals right here. But that's it for today's video. I'll see y'all for the next one. Hopefully the next one will be um, an egg counting video. And I now have a Patreon account for those who want to support me even further. Here you will have access to exclusive videos, giveaways, as well as discounts. The link will be in the bottom in the description. And if you purchase Repi links, feel free to use the discount code SHOVELHOGS to receive 5% off of all purchases.